Welcome to Leading the Way, a video series about addressing challenges in biomarker testing. Today, you will hear important insights about biomarker testing standardization in advanced ovarian cancer from Dana Clark, a genetic counselor at a major academic institution. Hi, I'm Dana Clark, a genetic counselor and testing advocate at a large academic institution. As a genetic counselor, I primarily see breast and ovarian cancer patients for hereditary cancer risk evaluations and assessments. My responsibilities include coordinating biomarker testing, sharing results with the team, and counseling patients. I have helped lead the charge on several biomarker testing improvement projects at my institution. Our motivation to improve biomarker testing was peaked after we assessed a sampling of our patients. We found that our ovarian cancer testing rates for germline BRCA1 and 2, more formally known as breast cancer susceptibility gene 1 and 2, were about 25 to 30 percent of testing guideline eligible patients when the goal was to test all eligible patients. This motivated our team to change our process. We knew we were very far from our goal and we had a lot of work to do to get back on track. Today, I will share our journey with you. In this series, I share strategies that my team and I used to standardize testing for homologous recombination deficiency, or HRD, in patients with advanced ovarian cancer. Here, I will share the importance of adopting a user-friendly tracking system to help ensure that all eligible patients are being tested. In the Electronic Medical Record, or EMR, we had difficulty tracking who had been referred for testing, who had undergone testing, what tests they received, and the results. We realized we were missing patients who should have been identified and tested. To address this challenge, we needed a reliable way of tracking our patients' testing status. With the support of an innovation grant, we developed a secure web-based portal, which was separate from the EMR. It could recognize ICD-10, or International Classification of Diseases 10, code entry, and alert a genetic counselor. With this functionality, all our documents were in one place. We could review charts without having to manually search the EMR. We could also track all the necessary testing details at a glance and follow up with ease. We realized if we could easily track this information, we could improve these measures. While we used an automated web-based portal to address our challenges, this is not the only option. As long as the system can easily track patient referrals, testing performed, order status, and results, then it can be used to organize patient testing information. This system made it easy to quickly assess the patient's current testing status, run reports, and notify the appropriate provider as needed. We were also able to monitor our patient's testing status in real time, and that made the testing needs more visible to our staff. These changes helped us to drastically improve our testing rates. To hear more about approaches to testing standardization, please click the link below.